lead here, which I, I actually, I gotta say, Iris does have the lead. Bizu keeping up with upgrades not too poorly, though. He's got level 1 army, he's got level 2 weapons, but still tanks, specifically with that level 2 weapons and that level 1 armor. They're just devastating, and it looks like Iris is moving his way all the way up to the full upgrade uh, tree. But So Arbiter and Stasis is really going to be the key, and specifically troop movement. And with Carthage going down those, going down those ramps, things like that, especially the way that Ir Iris has everything positioned. He's got it positioned beautifully to stop this. Vultures, a huge amount of vultures running in, some mines left behind, and more troops just running headlong into the mines, getting just wiped out. That looks like that observer was just kind of lagging a little bit behind. Some cannons taken out, but that was a very cheap attack for Iris. More vultures running through, and this is what I was talking about. Carthage just built for vultures, just running through the map, wreaking havoc. Iris has another base. Looks like he's got not a lot of troops actually on the ground. He's got some siege tanks, but not as many as I was expecting. Looks like the armories have stopped whirling, so he's content with his current upgrade. I'm not sure if he's at 3-3 at this stage. He might have actually stopped at 2-1. We'll see. And now another attack pushing in. He's going to try to stop this new expansion. He does have two arbiters. It looks like... Uh, I'm not sure if they, I don't think they were EMP'd, so they still got a stasis in them. So stasis in two tanks, looks like there's Goliath there. The Zealots now leading in beneath. Another nice stasis to block any reinforcements coming from the ramp. Let's see if Iris lifts that command center off, but oh my goodness. Off screen, so many siege tanks, and those that actually stasis is going to act as a wall for those Zealots. They're not going to be able to really press into that like they wanted to. Iris having to back off that expansion. I think he still might lose that command center. He's desperately trying to repair it. Desperately trying to repair it. But Bisu expending another army. It almost feels like a pirate victory here with all those siege tanks. I think Bisu uh, he needs to take out that command center first of all because it would be worth absolutely nothing if he does not take it out. Looks like he is going to be able to focus it down. But now he has to worry about this counterattack. This huge counterattack from Iris. Iris has a lot of troops on the ground. Bisu does not have a lot of troops on the ground to stop them. And oh, even fewer now and even more damaged. He's not going to be able to hold that expansion at 3 o'clock. Iris uh, is going to unsiege and probably press in not too long. And he's not going to have anything to oppose him. Absolutely nothing. So Bisu actually putting up a pretty good fight. It looked like, and I almost want to call this, uh, I'm not going to call this a map victory. Iris actually played this really well between the harassment and whatnot, and really nice defense. But now a huge mech army just marching its way forward. Bisu needs stasis now, and I don't think he has any with any of his arbiters. It looks like he's got that one arbiter trying to flee. Looks like it almost got EMP'd, uh, and there's tr oh, those troops caught on the wrong side of the ridge. Those siege tanks pressing forward. It looks like they're going to try to go for a flank. That command center is lost. Ooh, a couple mines along the way. It looks like they are at least going to be able to avoid the mines. Going for an end around, he needs to stop, stop that troop count. Iris's reinforcements alone should be able to stop it at the main base. And Siege Tanks meeting on the other side of the ridge. A beautiful comsat. And oh, nice stasis though. But still, mines have been planted. It looks like the Zealot's able to clear. But it uh, looks like the, the reinforcement's coming back around. Empty Psy Storm. Stopping Iris' expansion again, though, so he might be able to starve, uh, well, I don't think he's going to be able to starve Iris out just the, just because I don't think he's going to be able to keep these attacks up, so this expansion is eventually going to go up, but Bisu somehow able to make his offense his defense, and just as I say that, siege tanks at the 10 o'clock, Iris doing a beautiful job of actually splitting his force up, because that was Bisu's one chance to get back into this, is make his offense his defense, keep Iris back, and if he could have done that and gotten his expansions running, he would have been in a great position, but unfortunately, Iris very intelligently split Splitting his army, taking out the 10 o'clock, taking out the middle of the map, establishing his own expansion, putting up a pretty solid defense in the meantime. So Iris really playing well here to really take the game, and he's just getting a throttle hold. Some more troops trying to drop. Looks like that Arbiter's going to get taken out by these Goliaths before it can uh, get another stasis. Science vessels ominously hanging there, and that dropship just chilling. It's like, what's up? Uh, it gets taken out as well. Siege tanks bearing down. Looks like there was a nice stasis to try to save that expansion in the upper left-hand corner, but there's no troops underneath to really do anything about those siege tanks once they come unstasis. And there's another recall. I'm not quite sure. Oh, it looks like the recall again. Going to try to persist. Going to be able to take that command center out, actually, if he can uh, turn around and focus on it. But Iris still has a significant army on the ground. I think he might be starved out, but he should still be able to distance mine here and with just better upgrades Bisu's also running low on resources he, if he can just cling on though and just somehow get some nice size storms to take this out and right as I say that but that is just too large an army rolling in the front door 
and that is going to be it. Bisu trying to distance mine, but where is he going to... Oh, nice. Going to be able to take the siege tank out with probes there after the stasis. But the thing is, is even if he manages to somehow hold this off, where is he going to return those resources to? He doesn't have a nexus anywhere that's not under siege. And <laughs> quite literally under siege. And right now, his gateways, oh, right outside. The zealots running forward, trying to clear this. Half the tank's unseaged, and the dragoons just melting in front of this. Iris pressing, continuing to press in, and he's going to be right over the, the gateways, and there's nothing Bisu's going to be able to do. Yeah, even his reinforcements coming out, they're just going to get hammered as soon as they spawn. A couple more reinforcements flooding out to the 3 o'clock to try to take that out, and there's the setup for Iris. Yeah, as soon as stuff spawns, it's dead. Bisu should GG right now, because this game is over. Nice play from Iris. It looked like Bisu was right about to take over, was right about to get in this again. He did a good job of actually starving Iris out, stopping that additional expansion, but just expended too many troops. GG, Iris takes it. We're going to move on to set four. Iris up, 2-1. Again, thanks for listening. If you guys are interested in donating to the MSL Finals Party here in San Diego, which we're going to attempt, again, if you go to DGDSC on the main page there, there's a PayPal thingy on the left. Thanks for listening, guys. Talk to you later.